Probably. They're all still, they're all rookies still. Oh no, he's the heavy. That's nice. That's a nice thing to have early. His rockets are useful. This is the first like actual mission after the tutorial. We just started right. playing this. That's that's I'm happy. Yep. This is. Get ready to deploy. I can I can help. Within the continental United I'm helping. States. <laughs> Picked up a local broadcast indicating aliens. Oh, I fucking love the operation names in this stupid game. <laughs> operation <laughs> Frozen Sleep. What if this is like a cryogenic facility that you're. It isn't. Like, it's just gonna be a warehouse yeah. and some <laughs> empty lots. But in my mind, it's where they build cryogenic sleep stuff. They could. I mean, you know, you don't know what's in those shipping containers and whatever. That's true. Sarah says Operation Farm Purchase. <laughs> Operation Culture. Bucket Kick. Before you move out, let's that's, see what's inside. That we only name those things. We only rename our operations so that after they failed miserably. Mm -hmm. And uh, despite the fact that I'm playing this on PC, I am playing this with a 360 controller because mm -hmm. the keyboard that I have hooked up to this computer is one of those tiny media center keyboards with a built-in trackpad, right. and uh, that would be awful. So we're gonna go see what's in Got this it. little building. Basilius Constantine is checking it out. It's really interesting for me to see this after having played some other tactical games since having played this. Like, I'm thinking like this is incognita still about like where you should be positioned to check the door, which mm -hmm. isn't how that works. This is a different game. The guys <laughs> okay. in this game don't just die instantly the second combat starts. Right. Sarah says Operation Pining Fjords. <laughs> Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Hey, I'm the so commander. Yeah, I should be giving these these orders, not you, Captain Sweater Vest. <laughs> it's a pretty rad sweater. Orders confirmed. Is it? Yeah. We've been talking about how we don't like it. Yeah. Really? I don't know. It's, I, it's, I, compli it's a complicated it's sweater. Get it's, into you know. Here's what it is. So it's that I sold that sweater to humans before. Um, so I have a, I have like a, a nostalgia for that style of military sweater. That exact sweater yeah. with the patch on it and everything. Oh yeah, not so with the patch. So do you the, also the, have the nostalgia it. for neon pink camo uh, baby blankets? No one bought those. Is the thing. I never got to like okay, sell those to how actual about the bikinis? How about the matching bikinis. Yeah, I have which a certain sort of nostalgia for that. <laughs> what you have Don't to understand have is that I live in New Jersey, which meant that I'd already seen people wearing those. <laughs> I just got a text message from my sister. She says, I'm about to see Tom York's wonky eye. Which oh, I, has she seen Ray? Yeah, I guess they're at a uh, ACL Fest. Oh, awesome. awesome. So that's exciting. They are a good band to see live. I've heard that. Um, I seem to be... Whoa. I remember there being a little bit of controller wonkiness. Like, I think I liked the overall... Is over the overall control scheme, but mm -hmm. that there was a few. There were a few things um, that you either couldn't do with a controller, or that happened in a weird like way with a controller. I can't remember. Exactly. I don't think there's anything you can't do with a controller. I think it's just might right. not be hyper intuitive. Mm -hmm. All right, aliens are doing stuff. Oh, cover's gone for my heavy. He'll be fine. I'll just leave him right Oh, it's out of your piece. Yeah. Okay. It's not Radiohead. It's a side project. Oh, okay. Cover. Nah, he's fine. Sarah, I promise the alien design changes up pretty dramatically. These these opening dudes uh, are not supposed to inspire too much fear. Posted. One of the things, one of the things that they're adding in the um, nice like, critical animation is so good. Uh, one of the things that they're adding in the expansion is um, I don't remember if it's just a specific unit ability mm -hmm. or if it is a new general ability that everybody gets, but uh, a way to assault cover directly and oh, really? destroy it, which is going to be nice. Yeah, it's pretty great. Let's see if and I can make just a... pockets or whatever. Let's see if I can make is this thirty-one percent that... shot. Is that a thing that the aliens can do, but nope. you can't? You can do it, but it's not. You can't target it. Um, so like, oh, that doesn't like, seem fair. If you, if you miss your shot, um, like with a heavy machine gun or something, at 
some cover, there's a chance that the cover will be destroyed. But you can't purposefully right now just aim at some cover, like with free aim, and choose to destroy it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, which is was a thing back in the day with XCOM, and so some people were upset that that, that changed. Moving to designated coordinates. Um, the thing I'm actually the most interested in, though, besides actually, sorry, the thing I'm most interested in is the robots and cyborgs. Mm -hmm. um, but the second thing is there's going to be a, a game modifier that makes it so that whenever a new character is made, they have like a jumbling up of abilities, unless it's an ability that's tied to a class weapon. So, like, you can create a new, like, completely, you know randomizes the classes mm -hmm. in a way so instead of just That's having the heavy cool. tree, yeah instead of just having the heavy tree you'll have a heavy who might have a few skill choices from the support class or from the sniper class um and that's you know as a guy who played this game for you know probably like 20 hours or whatever um i knew i know right now what skill choices i would make immediately for each class and Having to change that up would be great. Your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons. So keep your eyes open and Austin likes down. robots? This is the Good first luck. time I've heard of this. <laughs> yeah, Phil was surprised I liked Armored Core yesterday. I'm like, what? man, you <laughs> met me. Alright, so I'm going to spend this round reloading. And, uh... Good call. Rock and roll. I'm ready. Reloading is... is like one of those things that it's so easy to forget to do. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing that's really easy, the other thing that's easy to forget is that you have that pistol. That right. like there've been so many times when I've wasted a turn reloading, be, you know, and taken a hit on the on the uh, alien turn, where I should have just pulled out my my pistol and got the kill shot in or whatever. You know. Right. All right. So it's up to us now to scout this zone out. This cryo zone. It's cryo a, it's zone. Definitely, this is definitely where they store cryogenic sleep beds. You don't know what's in those boxes. They could be full of cryo. I'm. Yeah. That's There's what it's those called, tanks. Right? Those tanks are certainly loaded with cryo. Mm -hmm. Also, like. So they're cryo tanks. Moving. Yeah. Oh, there's a dead guy over there. Putting everybody on Overwatch. Is Cryo like the new Froyo equivalent? Yeah. Like a tip? Yeah. <laughs> the kids these days. Oh, I had an alien on my scope for a second. I only eat organic Cryo. Heading to that location. You ever go to one of those Froyo places and like where it's like you add your own toppings and then they sell it to you by the final weight of the cup. You ever do no. that? No. Really? How is how is that really good? Well, it's great. It's uh, funny because like some people will go and uh, I used to take my friend Samantha to one that was near our house and um, or equi equidistant to our mutual houses rather. <laughs> and um, there's an alien. And uh, she would always get like non-fat yogurt with like granola and berries and stuff. And uh -huh. mine would always end up being this abomination of like uh, cookies and cream flavored yogurt with cookies and <laughs> actual like like gummy <laughs> bears and Captain Crunch okay. and stuff. And um, uh, I want some frozen yogurt real bad now, though. More aliens. Oh, they're running. Cowards. Our silence says, I like this game, but then I saw that some of the soldiers were women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're doing some kind of weird brain stuff in there. Uh, why don't they have clothing? You're okay, soldier. More like, but another one like suits, that armor. There's, a, there's, there might be a cannon reason. A I might know the cannon reason for that. Um, Do they just have super sensitive skin? Yeah, that's it. The canon reason is there's a weird section like 12 hours into the game where you do like an autopsy on them and the scientist is like, well, we've, t we've torn this guy apart and the one thing we know for sure is he has really sensitive skin. <laughs> we found this um, purse-sized bottle of Avino in his hands. And... 
Um, yeah, they're they're like slave clones. No, what? Back. They're like they're like slave clones. Oh, okay. They're they're not like like there's a reason why they're the front lines. Okay, I see. Twenty percent chance you get a I'm lot. Take it. Get him, Gwen. Uh, Gwen missed. I think I'd never thought about this game as like there is some kind of group effort. I always just thought it was like, well, I guess there's a bunch of aliens and they all decide right. to invade Earth at the same time. That's shit luck for us. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really think that. Oh no, well, like these are the pawns. Ooh, she is super about to die. You know, like uh, oh, oh, Chucko says, which makes more sense. Of and the tank mobs get armor. Like literally every other alien group. As far as I can, is either are either beings of pure energy or wear clothes. So this should work out. That makes a lot more sense. Rocket launcher, go! Oh, the rocket launcher. Suck it. Right, chrysalids are bugs. They don't wear clothes. Good That's true. There, well, I mean, the nice. skeleton is like clothing. It's true. Except if they take it off, I'll die. We can begin but... researching the newly recovered artifacts. I mean, I used to have a coat like that. I so. guess. I mean, is that how it works for for alien bugs? Maybe they're maybe they only get stronger when they remove their exoskeletons. That's not what I exoskeletons so. do, though. No, oh, well. right, but, they're, but they're but they're like do you they're get like stronger Zeno when you take your skeleton out? My skeleton yeah. does. Fucking! <laughs> I just I, the other thing in that sentence was beings of pure energy. Anything is up for grabs right now, dog. Uh, Gwen Stacy was gravely wounded. Yeah, she's she's out of it for eleven days. We're gonna have to fill her spot with a, a rookie. The recovered artifacts are being unlocked. Yeah, we got two sectoid corpses and four we'll weapon started. fragments. So that that's good. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the council. Oh, the council, y'all. This is our first communication with the council. Hello, Hello Commander. Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult nice decision if we could see his in responding face. to the various requests for assistance. I'm curious if that's where this expansion is going. It's who those dudes um, are. Upon the yeah, the expansion is called Enemy Within. So mm. they, they talk in interviews about how they haven't revealed what the, the kind of strategy layer changes are going to be. But they, they've said that there will be them because they're for access and that's how they do. Right. Um, and with a name like Enemy Within, it, it sounds a lot like there's a chance that it would be cool if you were shooting dudes mm -hmm. on top of shooting aliens sometimes. Yeah. Like, I would like to I would like to do some weird council, you know, corruption and secrecy and shit. Stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So we got a new facility available. Now we can build laboratories, and uh, each laboratory increases research speed by twenty percent, and we get a ten percent bonus whenever they're next to each other. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So panic has increased across Asia, but we got four scientists for doing that. The council knows Not you bad. made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only. So oh, I much see. We, we started in, in the U.S. However, huh? our chief engineer do what? Save the U.S. through Asia, huh? Uh, well, <laughs> the U.S. had the best constant monitoring of mm -hmm. every in the council. Yeah. yeah. If we allow that, you're measuring human life. Going to um, from but we're are we we're stationed out of Europe? Like yes, that's what that looks like. What's the Europe bonus again? The council's overall um, fifty percent reduced above the build screen, cost which for uh, track. stuff. Is like planes and junk. Oh. Hold on, having controller Commander problems. To mission control. There we go. Commander to mission control. Uh, Scratty, they've specifically said that they are not doing terror from the deep. They're specifically not doing fish people. Um, there's a really good interview with the lead designer of this game on the podcast, um, Three Moves Ahead. Uh, and, Commander, and he Dr. talks a Valley bit about that research is if they were doing the labs, a Lovecraftian still be some time before thing, the how they wouldn't do water and why they wouldn't do water. And why they wouldn't do... Like, now begin scanning for new it's, it's interesting. He says like the thing that he likes the most about XCOM um, is that it is... You know, most of the times it's just this tactical game, but every now and then you get uh, a mission where it's in a setting that is genuinely you know, terrible because it is a mundane place. It's a bookstore. It's a coffee shop. Um, and Terror from the Deep 
you know, you get cruise ships where you get like beaches a little bit, but most of it is stuff that isn't just the normal everyday life stuff. Um, it's deep underwater facilities and stuff. And that's just not as terrifying. And that's not really Lovecraftian in a, in a way because the setting needs to be mundane um, for this this otherworldly horror to, to really invade and shake you up. Uh, it was a really good little interview. We, we are scanning for uh, alien the activity. For the nice. Did you start building any facilities? Not yet. Okay. Research complete. Alien materials. Research project. So we're going to go assign a new project to this German lady. With this research complete, good call. my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers she wants to from the, the last two field God. operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens... Um, you should probably start... Yeah, Crockbox says you should start building stuff. Yeah. Um, sooner the better, because... Can, as you know, this is one of those games where you can... You can get screwed because you started a thing at day two instead of day one. Right. And then, like... Ugh. Thank you, Commander. I will let you know when this research has been completed. Engineering online. <laughs> it appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. Caddy. Or silent, it's like you haven't even been paying attention. All rockets, no med kits, final destination. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to engineering now, apparently. Nice. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything uh, Jordan, did you play that labs, XCOM third-person shooter? The Bureau? Of which, a yeah. No, I did not. Some new schematics. Me neither. I heard mixed things. Yeah. Fabrication. Um, I heard it, it had, like, flashes of a better game in it. Mm -hmm. where it. I've heard people say that there are moments where it feels like a Cold War era... Um, X Files, and that if they had really, really leaned into that, it would have been the best. Um, and that mm -hmm. sounds like a cool thing. So it's, the, um, it's, it's a shame. That it sounds like the kind that. of game that I'd really like to read the wiki, but not play. <laughs> right. <laughs> totally. So should I just make one nanofiber vest, or should I make one for everybody on? Uh, D on Dark Silent is like, do not do this. Whatever you do, don't do this. Don't get the nanofiber. I, no, I, Dark Dark Silent. This is what the uh, tutorial is having me do. And we're not playing on hardcore, we're playing on normal. I'm, I'm sure it would be fine. Get med packs all over! Alright, well, we'll make med kits then. I mean, the make, twist make is that the nanofiber can be controlled by aliens, and then they use it to, like, constrict <laughs> and suffocate people. Right, right. Right? That's why it's bad? That's the enemy. The enemy within is the nanofiber vest. <laughs> It's, it's the layer of clothing underneath your armor. Okay. Alright, we'll make some med kits. <laughs> I mean, play how you want to play, dog. Like, I don't know. I think it might you not let me to, advance yes. unless yeah, I make Yeah, you should build them, yourself yeah. a nanofiber vest. Just make one, maybe. Mm -hmm. But Fabrication maybe of the yeah, I had to. Complete, Commander. Yeah, that's it has been delivered part. to the armory. Commander to the oh, barracks. right, right, Commander okay. Scratty B says, the nanofiber vest is an item, not an armor, so you have to replace your grenades or scope with it. Yeah, that, right. that uh, is dumb. Items and yeah. That is not worth using almost ever. The armory, um, but in the first couple of days of normal mode... Yes. Before you have... Uh, everything else right so. i've heard some good strategies for using things like scopes on heavies mm -hmm. um that i've never done but that's one of those things where if i play enemy within and i get a heavy with uh some sniper abilities or with some some accuracy boosting abilities i would definitely consider using a scope with him scratty says he always uses scopes on heavies i i get it i can see that so who are we going to give this vest to Franco, Franco, I think. Did, we, did anybody else rank up? Franco, Franco, great. great. Uh, no, no, <laughs> nobody else is. Um, nobody else is eligible for a promotion yet. Commander 
to the situation room. Kyle says he wishes Commander he could join us for room. XCOM. I don't know why he can't. So are you guys like beefing right now? Is it are you guys resolving some sort of feud with with uh Oh Dr. what Dr. Mario? Mario? He just said some shit about Dr. Mario and his Let's Play series, uh Run Buttons yeah. excellent thirty years of Mario Let's Play series that everybody should go watch. Um, and he just really doesn't like Dr. Mario, and he thinks it's a bad, stupid game. And uh, I think it's one of the best, like, it's my favorite puzzle game ever, pretty much. So, at some point during the next week, we are going to have a duel and um, to decide. Here's a question. If he hates that game so much, why is he willing to play it in a duel? I feel like you've already yeah, won know. this argument. Yeah, that's that was kind of... <laughs> I Either way, even if I lose, I still forced him to learn how to play Dr. Mario yeah. really well. So exactly, yeah. And if you lose, yeah. And if you lose, yeah, you get to say like, "Look, yeah, it's great, it's perfect." Yeah, it's a it's a good situation. He if he's listening right now, though, I could have just ruined the whole thing. But so we're needed <laughs> in true. the situation room. Let's he's check not what's going listening. On here. The council has requested a word. Hello, commander. I think the thing is, even if even if Doctor Mar is not your favorite thing to play. It's it does some original shit mm -hmm. like it, it takes a, it takes a obviously it, it's based on a puzzle game that was not original that the, you know it was, it was a common thing at that point but they made a nice sort of spin on it that made it fun in a different way and like it wasn't just more of the same old fucking and puzzle games as a genre there's just so much repetition mm -hmm. so anything that so there is a lady we need to away from that. Apparently. She's actually like the rest of that lady. Council like mission special... target extraction. We've intercepted a signal indicating that an abductee was able to escape alien captivity and there is a limited window of opportunity to an attempt an extraction. By the time your troops are on the ground, a central should have our complete intelligence report available. We will get 163 space bucks, panic reduction, and five scientists. So let's do that this right is, now. This is a nice thing, especially because that panic reduction doesn't come at a cost, right? Right. Normally, these missions, when you reduce panic in one area, you're losing, you're gaining panic somewhere else. But these council missions let you just gain. Right. So do we want to keep um, Josette Richard from Canada, or do we want to swap her out? Let's see who. what other rookies we've got. Yeah, what, what do we got going on here? We got a Canadian, we've got a British lady, we've got Ahmed Mufadal, uh, let's see, we've got Vasily Popov, which is a great name, uh, Fumiko Sakamoto, what do you guys think? I mean, we're going to be renaming um, them anyway, we're, their nationality we? is pretty are much just great. Some like, of these names are I don't good. know. Holly Harris is a great Australian lady name. So is Fumiko. Is that Australia? Like, not England? Oh, that's, is that England? Okay. You, you that's what that. England. Yes, that yeah. is. Yeah. It's also a good <laughs> English name. Listen, the Commonwealth countries are all the same. That's why I've learned. So let's pick Holly Harris. And change her up a little bit. Can you use apostrophes in names? Can you yes. make her Ollie Aris? Ollie Aris? Yes, I can do that. Great. You should probably do that. Look, every I time I change her face, her hand out. moves. That's weird. Oh, Darth Cylon, the U.S. military is not shut down, so <laughs> that's, yeah. that's not how it works. They still get all the money, don't worry. <laughs> In fact, it would be, yeah, ugh. let's not talk about politics and alien invasions. Needless to say, the U.S. military would fucking love it if there was an alien invasion tomorrow. It's a shame there aren't more pastels in that hair color selection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Are you committed to that hairstyle? I don't dislike it, but... We can see what else is going on. Practical. It is practical. 
It is. They don't have a lot of adorable hairstyles. Like, there's no... Yeah. Like, we can't get her, like, pigtails or something. The problem is that, like, a lot of adorable hairstyles are just not... not appropriate. Yes. Like, this, this is, is my Janine thing with... Mass Effect conversation. <laughs> Mass Effect, yeah. I there had to give my femshep, like, a, a really super practical, tight bun, mm -hmm. because the idea of having your hair flying around your face in space just makes me really tense. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It'd be awful. <laughs> What was the conversation? What was the game that you had recently where you made? Oh, it was uh, Saints Row. Even you ended up having two different character models, basically, right? And you ended up committing to mm -hmm. the more practical. I mean, not really. I wasn't worried about practicality so much in that game. It was just that I ended up committing to the one that looked more like my character from Saints Row the Third. Right, right, right. And less like Hugh and I from Analog. <laughs> Right. All right, we're off. We are off to rescue Lady. Does she have a name, or I mean, I just like there's a there's a lady. Lady. Great. <laughs> She's a princess. Is she? Is that what we're? Princess stuck in an alien castle. Australia. Has Operation sent a First for Shroud. Now I know what so my tower jam game second. is about. You're looking for an Anna Singh. Anna Singh is her name. Escaped from alien captivity. Our mission is to locate her somewhere on that block. First Trout is a really good name for a thing. All the operation. all the operation names in this are great. Find the target, ex escort the target, protect the target. We can do that. Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. All right, we gotta get Anna Singh to the extraction zone. Right. Yeah, I remember this. Roger that. Uh, one of the other things that they're adding here are a bunch of new maps for the expansion. Oh yeah. And that's. That's exciting. That would be nice. Yeah. Solid new locations, not just like new tile, not just rearrangements of these tiles. You know. last time I did this if I split the team and it went well or if I split right. the team and it went really not well yeah <laughs> kind of the classic dilemma yeah we'll stick Heading together up. Heading to that location. Austin could you read off some of the operation names that we're getting in the chat Operation Hidden Sam Squatch, Operation Digital <laughs> River, Operation Flying Steak. So these are really good operation names. Yes. What's a Sam Squanch? <laughs> I think it's Sam Squanch. Pretty sure Sam's that's not Squanch. how you spell the thing that that's closest to, so I'm not sure what that is. Operation Dark Buffalo. Sam Squanch seems to be a thing. Is it? Aye, aye. It's like a it's like a pun on Sam Squatch. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think it's a Trailer Ugh. Park Boys joke. Barf. There's that self hate Canadian. Barf. That's affirmative. Yep. I know a lot of Americans who love that show. I do also. I'm yeah. I'm not something anymore. It. I hear alien Much like stuff, corner gas. I'm glad that's not a thing anymore either. Operation Hidden Talon. I think I've actually had that one. Oh, Scratty B says that he's forced to enjoy it because he knows a bunch of the people on it. I'm on the move. That alien oh, is found one. Mm -hmm. in its appearance. They could be using it still not still very torn kind. on how the aliens react analysis. after you see them mm -hmm. um, instead of just having been in the map at a location to begin with because um, it tends to mean you can never catch them off guard which is which is obviously a choice like, I'm not I guess I'm torn about it um, but it's really interesting that that's how it works right 
it means you never get to be a person dropping in an ambush. You know, you're always the. I guess if they. No, because do they ever just walk into your vision getting without getting an extra if, turn? If you're in Overwatch, maybe. Right, but if you're in Overwatch, do they? Will they ever before you've seen them for the first time? Will they walk into Overwatch? I've had people. I've had aliens stroll into my Overwatch. Yeah. Okay. Um, because okay. you put a sniper in the back with on Overwatch right, right, and they right, get right. crazy. They get some crazy good shots. I mean, what I'm oh, remembering from that though is, I'll put somebody into Overwatch and then advance somebody else that will trigger an alien who then gets shot. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying if everyone is in Overwatch and just pass turns, will aliens eventually walk into your ship? Uh, I don't know. My heavy totally smoked that guy though. Nice. I'm gonna go inside. This, this is a really bus. pretty garden. <laughs> That's what we're here for. I mean, there's that lady too, I guess, but like, we're here to save this garden. <laughs> God damn it. The man, Franco, Franco, uh, Basilius Constantine is a total drama queen. He just climbed on top of that bus <laughs> and then back down off the bus to get inside of the bus. Then he like backed up into the bus. He couldn't even go into his face front. Yeah. He's walking to the action movies. Oh, missed. Man, I am not in a good way cover wise. No, no. Lucky miss, though. Heading out. Yellow shield means you have partial cover, though, right? Or does it mean you broken? The half shield means that you have partial cover. The full shield means right. that you have full cover, but it means you have full cover from that direction. So you can be right. in a full shield, and if they walk up from, you know... Yeah, the side. Yeah. The side yeah. or whatever, like, you're still hosed. So. It's really convenient all those car doors are open. Got him. Start keeping score. Crit. Ugh, so gross. Yeah, aliens have gross anatomy, is what you say. Because <laughs> that's what you mean, right? Like, it's gross because it's, it, it's not like human anatomy. It's not like human blood. It's gross aliens. Right. <laughs> Operation Moose and Squirrel, Crockbox says. <laughs> it's pretty great. Moose and Squirrel. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's get Eris up front. She hasn't been doing a whole lot. Roger that. I couldn't tell if you... Yeah, I forgot that that was her name. I thought that you said Eris. Like, <laughs> either I like the FF7 character or like she's an Eris. Maybe she is. Maybe she is an heiress? I just think, yeah. I don't think the heiresses of this world are fighting the aliens. Okay. Unless she's, she's like, like the heiress of a great military dynasty. Right, Man, exactly. I would play that game. In the anime of the anime she like XCOM, inherits a bunch a of family honor and not like money or something? Aye, aye, <laughs> that's a great game. I would yeah. play that game so much. That's, well, that's... Or like, or it's... That's almost what, is, um... Uh, what was that guild... 03 game um liberation maiden that's essentially oh, liberation liber Great. Great. that's essentially yeah, liberation what liberation maiden best. was uh she oh. inherits inherits the presidency of japan from her assassin she doesn't inherit father. it it's very important that she doesn't she wins that election oh her right, father right. was the president and then she is elected and that's yeah. important to me <laughs> because i like robots and gender rights <laughs> <laughs> um and then she's the yeah, one well, that goes out and fights. That's a that was a pretty good game. I like all those. Not that's not true. I haven't played all of them, but I, I all of the guild games that I've played, I really like. Moving. Um, so. Oh, like, I found her. Super rad. Nice. Anyway, the XCOM anime would definitely star a, or would definitely Get include a squad member who was uh -oh. an heiress to someone who had like an honorary title bestowed upon them for their military duty and now she has to live up to that man that worked Why out that great just standing there yeah this is this is kind of what i'm saying like it's tough to it's weird it's weird um, oh i gotta reload good. him next see out of ammo yeah Oh, also, wait, is. how did you guys... 
how did you guys know that this lady was had like escaped or whatever? Uh, council got intelligence. It's pretty good. Okay, good how do they have that, but they don't have intelligence for like the thing that's five feet ahead of you? <clears throat> Listen, satellite coverage is spotty. India, wherever you are. Wow, that's... For our silence, she texted us. <laughs> Eris just said, can't kill him if you don't hit him. Thanks, John Madden. Yeah. You see? I can't do a John Madden voice. <laughs> Janine? No. It's all to do. It was your best John Madden. I don't, I don't even know what he looks like. I don't think I've ever... I, I'm, really? I'm sure I've heard him, but I can't Over put here. a voice to that name. I bet you could describe him. He's an old white cute. guy. Yeah, well. <laughs> if I made you two kind of overweight. Yep, keep going. I'm just describing everyone who talks about football on TV, so. <laughs> Some of them are. Yeah, yeah. No, that's. Like, that's... <laughs> There's a black guy. He's really good. Man, I'm <laughs> missing all of these 45% shots. Uh, this is going to work out, though, I think. About um, one of my favorite things about Incognita right now is, uh, Jordan, have you played Frozen Synapse ever? No. In Synapse, depending on if you're in the or not. Um, in Frozen Synapse and in Incognita, there is no there's no attack roll um, mm -hmm. in in open cover, right? Like or in open open uh, territory. So in Incognita, if I have a direct line of sight to a guard who is not behind cover. Where are I'm going to hit every time. And the only roll is, do I hit regular or do I hit for crit? Um, there's some thunder happening here. If there's cover involved, that changes things up a little bit, and there is a there is an attack roll. Mm -hmm. um, but the I really like the basics of... It, it makes it feel almost chess-like in a sense, where like, I know that if I shoot this guy, I'm going to hit him, and I know I'm doing at least two damage. I can count on that. And base my base my strategy around that mm -hmm. instead of getting 85% to hit that looks like it should be an easy shot and missing it and it fucking me. Right. I'm not saying that every strategy game should have that, but that is I, I really it meshes well with the rest of Incognita's design so that it's about having information and utilizing that information. Whereas I think XCOM is often about not having information and having not and being screwed because you don't have information. Right. Like that's. Yeah, I don't know. I really like how that little change can communicate so much about the theme of a game. All right, so now we've got her. And basically, we we need to get her back to the extraction zone. So I'm just kind of be kind of setting everybody on Overwatch as I move her through yeah. them. Uh, Is she... Overwatch directional in this? I don't remember. No, it's a bubble. Okay. Um. They can't like sneak behind you or anything. Right. Right. Uh, where is going to be a good place to? Oh, I need to move her so that she can hunker down. Yes. Strike one. We've got a wave of X-rays. Here we go. Your location. Eyes up. Oh Jesus! If I lose connections because it's crazy lightning storm time right now. <laughs> Overwatch, get him! Oh, oh man, deal with it. guys. See, those guys have clothes on, Janine. They've because seen. they're trying to pass as humans. Yeah, they're not doing a great job. No. And see, it's like you have to, whenever you're doing these escort missions, you have to make the decision of, I need to put my soldier in a good place, but make sure to leave a good place for my civilian to get into. Um, because I can <laughs> try and protect her as much as I want, but if she, you know, is left out in the cold... And that doesn't do us right. any good. Gotta bring her back to base, you know? Yeah. Scratty, we know it's a good point that could be a Highlander Battle Royale happening outside. Mm -hmm. Could be. That's I can't. True. I can't be sure. There's a lot of sword fights in camp. I, I mean, I told you guys the other day, I saw a dude on the, on the bus with a sword-hilted umbrella. So, I mean, maybe he was a... Maybe he was an immortal. Are you sure it was an umbrella? I am well no, maybe he pulled that maybe the umbrella was like, like a so disguise for his for his sword. For his cutlass. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. The thing, let's be clear. The reason I find comedy and horror in that is because 
that is the path I did not take. <laughs> yeah. Right? That like there but for the grace <laughs> of God and could have gone that way. You know? Mm -hmm. Alright, hide in these bushes so, right now. I mean, you should evacuate those mobs. <laughs> Around the lamp post. Evacuate nice those detail. what? There's, there's mobs fluttering around the one of oh. those street lamps. Yeah. You said you should evacuate them. Yes. What if those were alien? Oh, that's one of the new units. It's moths. No. <laughs> um, it's... Um, I forget what they're called, but they are... Stealthed flying robotic tentacles. Cool. Um, that specifically go after back row snipers. That uh, is less cool. I put my yeah. snipers in the back row <laughs> pretty consistently. Yep. Um, and it's because it's so safe, right? Like, there's nothing that can touch them back there 90% right. of the time. And so, introducing this new threat is really nice. And then the other thing is, snipers already come with that scanner device th that no one ever takes mm -hmm. because who fucking cares? Right. Now I might care. You know, now I might actually use that ability I always skip on. Um, Thank God you found me. And that's that's nice. Scratty B says, Toronto has a law in the books that makes it legal to just, like, have a sword on you. It's gotta be sheathed and the sheath, ha the sheath and hilt must be visible, but it's totally legal. Which is crazy. Is that true? I, he's from He's from up here. Yeah, Dark Silent. Right now in the base game, there is no anti-sniper in in the Alien book. Like, um, it is a it is definitely a hole. It's definitely a gap. That's why I love snipers so much. Um, supports are actually always my favorite units. Like in terms of really my connection to the characters. Yeah, because one because I named them after friend, I, I named everybody after friends of mine, and mm -hmm. I inevitably named the supports after like my nicest friends. <laughs> like my old roommate Matt Voice, so I was like, "Oh, Voice, you're always like running around and saving people." And like, so of course I end up being really sad when they get killed because mm -hmm. they performed the the act that is, you know, most generous in the game over and over again. Right. Um, but, and I also just kind of like them as all arounders. Um, I I guess I never got really attached to like my assaults because I tended to make them get up close and personal, and that always put them in danger. Mm -hmm. Uh, whereas the supports are just kind of like they're just, they're just average soldiers. Like they're just you know they have all right accuracy and they can move really far. I like movement a lot in games. I like like high mobility troops and and they're that. So right, Ally, wouldn't Blaze be a great support? <laughs> Ally knows what I'm talking about. Sean was a heavy uh, Ally, by the way. Was duh. I think Janine is a sniper. Also because duh. Okay. That makes sense. Also because I'm the person who in every shooty type game I play always has the sniper <laughs> rifle and always <laughs> use it no matter how <laughs> fucking dumb the situation I'm using it in is. That's 100% true. Yes. Or will alternately like like really beef up and augment a shotgun so it becomes a viable sniping tool. <laughs> I don't typically... Thing, I, I forget what game I did that in, but it was real dumb and real good. <laughs> Probably Fallout, right? Yes, it actually, yeah, it was totally Fallout. Yeah, was it? I, was, I, I only remembered shooting someone in like a watchtower, and the only games I've played recently that had those would be Fallout and Far Cry. <laughs> I don't think Far Cry really yeah, you, allows for that, so... Not really, sadly. Guys, the storm is cray. Pretty great. Are you into a good storm? Also, I totally just wasted that guy. As, nice. As long as I'm not in it, I'm pretty good with it. And as long as it doesn't I'll knock out my life, mm -hmm. um, my internet, and my power and stuff, um, I'm pretty into it. Yeah, Crockbox was Crockbox was around earlier when me and Alexander uh, Slowinski were streaming Borderlands 2. And... Mm -hmm. um, uh, I am not into shotguns <laughs> in pretty much any video game. Like I just they're really? just they're just not fun ever. Like there's no finesse. It's just like 
pull the trigger and randomly kind of pivot back and forth on the y-axis like you're not doing anything Mm -hmm. see i think the ones that feel good are the ones where like you're right i think in a lot of games there is no finesse to them they're just big bulky things Um, but when i think about like my the shotguns in mass effect 2 and 3 um, with the Vanguard, mm-hmm. I feel like re- like I play that class because it makes me feel like a combination of brute and finesse. Right. Um, because you're in everybody's face, but you're you're bouncing back and forth all over a play space. You're moving all over the place. Um, compare that to yeah, a game like Far Cry Three, where like that's just a thing. You're just killing the things that are immediately in front of you. And, like that's not that that's not that fun. Right. So I think there are, some games do it better than others. Um, and the other thing with video game shotguns that's weird is like, video game and movie shotguns don't really that's understand how fun. shotguns work. Right. Um, and I'm not like super realistic gun guy, but shotguns are not things that you can only use from across the room. You know, like they're hunting implements. You don't sneak right next to the deer you shoot with them. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And when and when games allow you to like like in Fallout, when you can load slug ammo so that it's long distance shooting, high power long distance shot, and it's basically just mm-hmm. like a long arm rifle or a long arm pistol, like heavy pistol. Um, that's oh those are a lot of fun too. Thank um, you so much. Yeah. Executed to the we totally saved Anna Sang, by the way. The yes, good job. All right, did that mission just end as soon as she's on the, the yep. thing? Yep. That's really nice. Oh, That's weird. super nice. 